I am Dr. N. Vijay Lakshmi Barara. I am the Gender and NGO Coordinator of uh, NERCOM, which is Northeast Region Community Resource Management Project, and that is based in Shillong. And we have uh, six offices in the districts, two in Manipur, two in Assam, and two in uh, Meghalaya. Uh, being a Gender and NGO Coordinator, um, it was, um, I can say the roads were not very smooth. Uh, our traditional institutions are completely gender blind in the sense that the traditional institutions, the women are not allowed any space, physical or vocal uh, or mere presence. So they are not even allowed to step on those places where the village council meetings takes place. So for us it was very difficult to break the ice. Nevertheless we did it and we did it with the uh, consensus of the traditional thought system, uh, which is a real innovation of our project. We were expecting some kind of conflicts because uh, the women in the last uh, so many centuries, they have never been part of uh, the, the village development bodies. And suddenly to tell this uh, authority, the traditional authority, that women need to be part of it was something beyond their comprehension. Uh, but nevertheless, slowly, slowly, gradually, uh, when uh, the women uh, got included in the natural resource management groups, uh, and uh, initially they used to just come and sit quietly in a huddle, not even dispersed, slowly they started getting dispersed. Then uh, some issue came up, and then they said they, they differed in their opinion in the sense that uh, the village authority was, it, for example, thinking of building a road. But they said, no, we need water. And they impressed upon it. And that was the beginning of their vocal, uh, you know, the, the, their mouth to open uh, in the authority systems. So it was, it is not just, okay, like suddenly in this year there was gender mainstreaming. It was a very, very gradual process. But we are very lucky that it was a consensual process, no conflicts. Of course, very small and small, small villages, there were conflicts slowly, but they were resolved through our NGOs who convinced them that their authority will not be uh, challenged, like the CMs, the Nokmas, the village authority chiefs, the village chiefs. They were told that they will retain their customary rights. They will retain whatever was there. Only thing is in the development sector, let women also take part because ultimately development affects the women and children too. So that paradigm, of course, it was slow, but it seeped in. And uh, today we can say, in fact, recently we did a study on women entrepreneurs of NERCOM IFAD, and you won't believe the kind of entrepreneurs we have generated uh, among the women in the Northeast. They are today uh, the, the owners yeah. of uh, weavings, they are, they, are, they are marketing weaves, they are marketing pigs, they are marketing their cane products, and they are also marketing farm products. And some of the SHGs, they have also, become, they have also taken collective loan uh, to buy land. And they are landowners, which was again an unheard story before. Then, wherever the communication was, prob was a problem, they, the women who never used to talk even to their neighbor, could approach the bank managers, apply for loan, and they have taken uh, trucks, they have taken data sumos, they have taken line buses, and they are running them and getting revenue out of that. And now the fresh vegetables, they can get better bargain because it can be transported more easily. Their sick people can be transported more easily. So it is their planning. They thought that that is their priority. And uh, I think because of the women being included, the, the down, the very ground realities of health, hygiene, uh, you know, basic marketing, okay, you produce, fine, but then the practicality of marketing that women could take over. And uh, I think that is how we can say that NERCOMS today is a success. It's a success story because our women have made it so. Thank you.